We are all here today because you recognize that research is more important now to our profession and our industry than ever before. Nursing research is continuously evolving and the opportunities it presents are so incredibly vast. It is the foundational basis for the care that we deliver, the evidence we guide our work on, and so much more. We are in an era of value. No longer is our success being determined by patient volume. It is all about value. And value relates to access, to affordability, and to quality. Lowering cost, becoming more transparent, and improving our outcomes. For most of us, today's age of healthcare looks a lot different than the one we used to know, definitely different than the one Nancy and I walked into nearly three decades ago. But our past successes have brought us to this point, and as challenging as the healthcare reform road has been and will potentially continue to be, this is truly an exciting time to be a nurse. Nurses are undeniably imperative to the future of healthcare, but sadly, many nurses have yet to fully recognize this. Nurses need to understand just how important they are to the solutions that are currently and will continue to, try to drive healthcare transformation. And nursing research and innovation could very well be the catalyst that takes us there, that shapes and further defines our future. By initiating research, nurses will learn if novel ideas and programs work. They will recognize if improvement and enhancements are valuable, paint a clearer picture of what that value looks like, and take the initiative to transform those thoughts, those ideas, into reality. How many times has someone said to you, that's a great idea, you should take that initiative and make it a reality? What typically happens? Unfortunately, most of the time, nothing. Most great ideas remain dormant because people don't have the courage, the resources, both time or financial support to take action. But in our profession, especially, this mentality needs to change. This research, these innovations, they are what has brought us to where we are today. Nowhere in any nursing job description does it say out of the box thinking is prohibited and you can only execute on what you are told to do. Our industry is competitive and we face great hurdles. To come out on top, we need to either convert our own ideas or be part of a converting somebody else's ideas into reality. Everyone must be a part of cultivating innovation and research around the clock. And as nurses, we need to own this. I just gave an overview of the value that nursing research can bring to the healthcare center in terms of patient assessment and outcomes, nurse efficiencies, and administrative practices. But Nancy, can you provide an example of how nursing research has helped us from a financial standpoint? We have many examples of how research can really save money and decrease cost of care. But one of my favorite examples uh, is of a study we did on EKG lead wires, specifically disposable lead wires compared to reusable clean EKG lead wires. So we know that these lead wires are used in multi-day monitoring and there's many companies out there marketing their products and trying to convince us that maybe they would decrease infection. We kept asking them to show us the evidence. Mm -hmm. So what is the evidence of this happening? Eventually we ended up leading a research study, a randomized controlled study of over 7,000 patients, and they were randomized to either clean, reusable EKG lead wires or disposable EKG lead wires. We learned that the disposable EKG lead wires did not reduce bloodstream infection, ventilator-associated pneumonia, or wound infections among our patients treated in multiple intensive care units. Ultimately, Cleveland Clinic saved a lot of money as the disposable EKG lead wires are much more expensive than reusable ones, even when counting for replacements. I know that a lot of nursing research is aimed at understanding factors associated with the quality of care that's delivered so that we can ultimately improve patient outcomes. But Nancy, can you provide an example of research that was translated into nursing practice because of new knowledge that has been gained? Sure. One of our advanced practice nurses in pediatrics is on a mission to decrease the number of IV attempts nurses make when trying to get peripheral venous access. She developed an algorithm for nurses to follow and then studied it. After it was implemented and we reviewed our research results, we learned that overall IV access attempts were reduced, but first IV attempt success did not improve. So she went back to the drawing board, added a new feature to the algorithm that was a dedicated vascular access team. 
and not only did overall IV success improve, but first attempt IV access also improved. In pediatrics, the vascular access team is now part of our standard of care. It decreases pain and suffering to our youngest patients. Well, we all know that research is a process that takes knowledge, time, and resources. Can you explain how we're able to support nursing research throughout a large healthcare system composed of multiple hospitals, many ambulatory centers, and nearly 29,000 nursing caregivers? Sure. The first thing I have to say is we have a lot of leadership support, and for that we're very thankful. We understand very clearly that without leadership support, many nurses may not feel like they can be engaged in nursing research. We have an integrated model of nurse scientist mentorship. We do not have one nurse assigned to different hospitals. Instead, we work as a team to help bring research forward. Our nurse scientist mentors are very knowledgeable in different types of research design approaches, and in that way they could work very efficiently and effectively to help clinical nurses who may not be research savvy at all understand research and do it without it making as many mistakes. We also have many website resources that include templates on how to guide new researchers. And we have many educational offerings that we give to nurses. For example, we have a two-day evidence-based practice literature review course, a two-day nursing research conference, and in that conference, we encourage our nurses to present orally and provide poster presentations of their completed research so they could disseminate it internally and externally. We also offer literature reviews and writing for research publication grants, and we have a small nursing research grant. Finally, we also offer research workshops at each hospital. So we allow nurses to determine what it is they want to know more about research, and then we try to meet their needs in an education format. We're very fortunate that we also have integration with our uh, resources. For example, I have a team of biostatistician support, we also have multiple system-wide resources that include electronic databases, librarian support, art and photography support, to name a few. And with our huge push for information technology research, having wonderful databases is a real asset for us. Thanks, Nancy. So in your opinion, what element of research is the most difficult? You know, I think when I'm thinking about research, translating research into practice, that very end stage oftentimes is the most difficult. It involves explaining the value of changing practice to the teams involved. It involves receiving approval to make changes that may often include policy and procedure changes. It involves getting multiple stakeholders involved. It involves educating nursing teams. And so you could imagine it's a very intricate dance and that involves many people and without all people stepping up to the plate and continuing the momentum of the change or the translation, we could end up having a project that ends up fading. This element of research really requires the support of clinical leaders, and it's a really important aspect of research to take that new knowledge and then translate it into practice. So I was sitting here thinking that you were going to say publication was the, the most difficult portion of research. It's interesting you say that. You know, nurses are often very intimidated about trying to write up their findings for publication. But we're very fortunate that we have a team of nurse scientists who are well published, and they really understand the steps needed to get a paper submitted to a journal and to ultimately get it published. I think we help decrease the nurse's stress a little bit when we work with them side by side and really help them to move the paper, uh, develop it, and get it moving forward. Thanks, Nancy. This concludes our time together for today. We would like to thank you for your participation in this webinar where we've explored the implications of research in nursing and its benefits and impact on clinical care. <music>